Welcome to the Daily Telegraph NRL podcast. I'm Michael Karianis and joining me is Brent Reid and Russ Jackson. Boys, welcome to 2024. How are we? Oh, I'm so excited. This is fantastic. Can't wait to go. It's good that Reedy turned was up. Was that sincere? Which, that didn't feel no, sincere. Well, it was a lack of enthusiasm. I think, I think I've missed it because I was ready to go about 15 minutes yeah, ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. And Mick and I got ourselves, whipped ourselves into a frenzy. Yeah. We were ready to run out. And then we turned around and we were a man down. So. It's good to see that things haven't changed despite the fact God, that it's ticked over I've to 2024. Excuse. I've got an excuse. Mm. A, it's my first day back after seven weeks. It is I'm your a bit first slow day back. Mark. Yes, it is your first day back. Certainly it was back. my youngest son, Oliver's first day of high school. Okay. So I went to high school to, to you know, send him off, basically. Oh, okay. So, Ollie, have a good day, buddy. Father, buddy, buddy. Father of the year. That's what it's about, mate. Right. So you've had seven Family weeks. Family first, mate. You've, you've, Family first. You've had seven weeks off. Yeah. Give us a... Summation of um, your summer. A lot of sun, a lot of sand, a lot of water. A lot uh, of went, land. went back to Queensland. Um, that was about it, mate. Oh, good chat. Nothing and else. you're out there. Spoke to you every now and then. Same for me. Just uh, time at the beach and uh, falling asleep on the lounge watching the cricket. It was mm. uh, it was great. So yeah, I'm recharged and ready to rumble. Yeah, nice. So. There's been a fair bit going on in our absence. Oh, so we'll I just, just got to reply to this person. Can you talk to Russ for a sec? I was no, 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 I was couch. actually just talking. I wasn't oh, even sorry. talking to you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, um, we'll just run through a, a, a quick summary of what's going I'm on good. in I'm our good. absence. So he's right now. Yeah. Jerome Law has signed with the Tigers. Joey mm, Manu is considering rugby. Mm, Adam yes. Fenua Blake has joined the Sharks. Ooh, Las Vegas drama, visas and the like, but looks like all systems are going now. David Norfolk Loma mm. has left the Tigers, and Ronald yeah. Volkman was a dragon for about three minutes. <laughs> and busy now summer. Yeah, busy summer. Busy summer of, of rugby league, and the good thing is, no off-field incidents, no. which is what we Touch like wood. to see. We're all Touch here wood, buddy. talking rugby league, which is great. But what's out of those, what sort of stands out for you, Reedy? Oh, I think Luai to the Tigers, for me, is the biggest biggest signing of the off-season. For me, Blake's huge for the Sharks, but Jerome's the biggest one. I mean, he was the kill they needed, uh, three-time premiership winner, crucial part of that Penrith machine, and uh, Benji and Shane Richardson done a great job to get, get him over the line. I think that's a huge signing for that football club. Yeah, you're asking. Yeah, Lu- Luai is massive, but also uh, the Dragon situation was was a shocker yeah. for Shane Flanagan. Not only uh, Volkman, but Corey Allen as well. Yeah, like bang, 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 bang um, Corey Allen. Just those you know depth players. It's uh, yeah, it's a it's a tough enough gig as it is. But uh, yeah, off to a bumpy start there. But um, yeah, all systems go for them. One of the big changes that that happened, I guess. Well, it's not a it's not a massive shift in rules compared to what we've seen in the last couple of years. But the NRL tweaking the kickoff. Are you across that, Reedy? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> not really. No, I did see that. Well, that was to discourage uh, to encourage short short drop yeah, yeah. like. I don't that. mind. That's a contest for the ball. A lot of clubs mm. do it now anyway, right? A lot of clubs prefer the, the short dropout because yeah. you know, it's, we watch a bit of NFL right yeah. and it's all about analytics and, and your, your percent, percentage chance of getting the ball back and mm. defending your line all that sort of st- stuff and they were leaning that way anyway mm. so it's basically just confirming the way the game was going I think you asked, do you, do you like it? Do you, oh. do you think? Well, we're going to see. Thanks for throwing so, that at me too. Well, no, it was only it was only because it's not on the run sheet. It, 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 it's not on the run sheet. Hello. Oh, it is on there the right Sorry, yeah. it was fourth down. Would have given me time to think about it. It was yeah. only when I saw your face, and I'm like, "We <laughs> forgot what the rule is here." But no, it was, you're, yeah. you're removing you're penalties it. for teams who kick the ball out on the yeah. floor. Yeah, that takes away. I, I agree with um, uh, Ben. Uh, ben Hunt's take on it. You should be punished for a crap kick. Yeah. If you get it wrong, it's it's an art form. You're still getting, you're not getting yeah. punished, but you're not getting rewarded for yeah. it either. Yeah. Did I actually get it right? What I said? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Yeah. And. Uh, like part of it is around concussion too, as well. Yeah, and we reduce the reduce some mm. of the impact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And the like, I don't mind it. I think it adds another element of a contest mm. to the game, and um, we'll see. We'll see a lot of it. I will tell you what's funny though, because I was saying we won't make any rule changes this off season. That's right. They just couldn't help themselves. Just, just have to a, make one. But it's been just described as, as a tweak. It is. A tweak. <laughs> it is a tweak. A subtle. It tweak. doesn't change the game. Like no. Some of the other ones that we've seen have changed the game. Well, I think with I think with the amount of um, with the drop uh, the dropouts particularly how successful teams seem to I don't know what the stats are but how effective they are. It's just seemed like it was just a matter of time until we saw more short kickoffs. Mm. I, I, 
thought like mm. you know it's why not yeah why mind not? you you say it doesn't change the game but you, you don't know what the, the ripple effect of this is it might okay. have a it might be m more significant than you think what then. ripple effect I don't know. could you foresee of the fact that it's no longer a penalty mm. <laughs> just saying it's a tap you don't know or a play the ball. you don't know like no nah. okay there's not going to be a ripple effect for this um, sorry for we'll know, just see more of it we'll see more of it and we'll see more of a contest and yep. i think um it will bring a little bit more excitement to the game okay that's what we want, excitement. Um, one thing... A bit more in this podcast to be well, good too. Well, can the Dragons get excited over Ray Fatala Mariner arriving at the club? Um, well, at least they've landed someone. It's been mm. pretty well, barren... Let's, let's strip it back a pretty bit. Pretty barren summer for Strip it back a bit first, mm. Reid. Are you across that story at the back end of, of, of last year yeah. with Ray falling foul at, at Canterbury? There's no doubt about that. And, yep. you know, I don't think there's too many Bulldogs officials that are unhappy that he's no longer at the club. Yeah, and there was talk about they, they, they'd mended fences and, and built, built bridges and we're going to get on with it but mm. he was always looking around he always had permission to leave um, you know he didn't really get a shot there at the end of last year I don't know how many games he, he played in the end but obviously all wasn't work well between mm. him and and that club given he was former club captain mm. um, look he gives some experience to Dragon to right he gives him a leader because he's a leader right um, and he'll make an impact there but I don't know. It's, it's not enough to compensate for the summer they've had. You mentioned yeah. Bog, the Volkman situation, Corey Allen. You know, they're linked with a host of big names. Flano was really outspoken about who they were going to chase. Mm. It's noticeable now he's pulled back because yep. they haven't actually landed any of those targets. Mm. Noah Blake, Joey mm. Manu won't be going there. Joey um, Manu was never a target. No. It was, well, it, he was pub publicly. Well, he was. Oh, it was like, oh, mate, if you're going to leave the Roosters, we'll chat mm. to you. It never... Yeah, but, you know, Mick, you know where that leads, right? When you do that, you go out and say, mate, if you're going to leave, we'll have a go at you. Instantly, people perceive that as a but target. It's, but I'm saying it shouldn't be. If you're looking at the blokes that they didn't get, Fenua Blake, definitely. Yes. And Connor Tracy. Yeah. They're the two that I think that are the guys that they've really gone in for <laughs> yep. that they haven't secured. And yep. the ones, particularly Fenua Black, they're confident yep. of being able to land. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look, I, I like the fact Shane Flanagan's been making noise and having big, big swings, throwing haymakers in the player market. I, I like it. I, I know I, it's I like it back now, but yeah. I, I like the fact that why, why not have a swing at Joey Manu and say, hey, look, we, we can offer you a ton of cash. Yeah. He knew full well he wasn't going to turn up, but, but why not? The why not say, you know, here's the Dragons, we're a big club, we've got plenty of cash, come and play for us. The concern for the Dragons now is that you look at 24 and their roster has improved slight, slightly, but mm. I'd say out of all the recruits, Jaime Sele is the only one where you go, he'd make majority of other clubs 17. Yeah. Well, um, the other concern for them, Mick, is they need to land someone for 25. That's what I was going to say. Because Ben Hunt's... That's the do we, do, Ben Hunt will be there in 25. Do you really? I think so. Okay. I think he'll be there in 25. Um, is that with insider knowledge or you just... Uh, it's, it's your No, no, it, it's, it's some talk around that they're confident that... The Dragons are confident that he'll be there in 25. Okay. Um... Like we, in Ben's situation, situation, you know, he's on almost a million dollars. How old would he be next year? Thirty-four-ish. Yeah, about that. Yeah, about that. Who's going to find mm. that money for him at that mm. that age? Depends what sort. If he has a great year, someone will. Uh, in Queensland, someone who's not going to do it. Yes. Don't you think so? You don't think the Gold Coast, would, if if they're edging towards. They, they would be the only being one. Because it's not going to be the Dolphins. Well, they, they were the club that was always surrounding him, right? Yeah. The, the Dolphins, mm. so are uh, the Dolphins, the Titans. So, I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. I think they've got a, and I, I would have thought if they have a lean year, which I think we expect them to have a yeah. tough year, right? Yeah. And if they don't land any targets for the following year, Ben's going to be restless again. Well, that's the other issue as well. There's not a lot of players still no. on the market that's going to make them significantly better. No, in, well, in I, was, I was just thinking, where do they? Where do they swing next? Where, uh, well, Hill and Luke is one guy who's on yeah. their radar. Yeah. The other young Cowboys back row is on their radar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but do they make a, a significant enough change for that club to go from where oh, it is they're, now? They're the start of it. To, mm. They would be the start of it. They yeah. sign them, either one of them, then yeah. I'd say, yeah, that's the start of it. If they can keep Jade and Sue and pair those two on, on either edge, and then you go, mm. well, that's a really good mm. edge. And you've got yeah. Suley and Lomax in your centres, and you go, yeah. okay. That's something Starting to look like something. Well, that's something to work Sloan with, Sloan right? kicks on. Mm. The, the, what I'm going to judge Shane Flanagan on in 2024 is not as much wins and losses. Obviously, that's what he'll be... Yep. It's going to be the form of Sloan yep. and yep. Zach Lomax. Two guys that have got all the potential in the world. Yep. And if he can unlock them into being yeah. consistent, potentially really, really good players, 
then you can say, okay, well, there's some upside there to that dragon yeah. side. The problem with the dragons in the last couple of years is there's just been no upside, no, right? And no. the roster's still not good enough. Mm. And I, if Shane Flanagan can get him above 10th, he's a miracle worker. Yeah. And that would be a huge year. But if he can, if we're sitting back at the midway point of the season, go, okay, Sloan has cemented himself as the number one. Yep. We've seen him be physically tougher. Yeah. Then that's that will be counted as some sort of win. Might not be in, in the on the points table on the, on the ladder for the Dragons, but he'll head it into the future. You go, okay, well, there's some positive signs mm. there. Mm. Yep. Yeah, fair call. Yeah, I agree. Lomax, so I think Lomax for me is the guy for yeah. the Dragons. He, he's the guy that really needs to step up and, and become the player that we all know he's capable of being. Um, yeah, hopefully he does that under Flanagan. But he, he's a key man for me. Something yeah. we've spoken about, I think we actually floated on here, Reedy, Jason Tamalolo before Christmas. Yeah. Um, and it's gained some traction, I guess, over over the summer. Not really through official <laughs> channels, but just through some some people talking around Jason Tamalolo's future at North Queensland. Whether they get in the the bank for their buck and a deal worth almost a million dollars. Yep. Um, with all those young guys that you mentioned already, like off contract, and the guys that they already got already have locked down in their full pack. What's your take? Well, obviously on? the change of captaincy was huge mm. as well. Where Jason and Chad Townsend were the captains, they're, they're now no longer the captains. Tommy Dearden and Ruben Cotter are. Um, you know, and I, I, I think it's pretty common knowledge that I believe, believe if you're the Dragons or the Bulldogs, mm. you've got to ask the question of Jason Tomalolo. Well, I think you're oh, mad 100%. if you don't. You've yeah. got to ask the question of oh. the Cowboys and yep. Jason. Not saying Jason should be agitating to leave or, or um, you know, banging at the CEO's door to ask for a, a release. Yeah. But if I'm the Dogs or the Dragons, I'm asking the question of the Cowboys, would they consider it? And then I go and try and woo Jason Tomalello because he's got three years after this year on that contract. Yeah. I think it peaks at about 950. It never mm -hmm. goes to a million dollars a year. Cowboys m might put in a little bit of cash for him. Maybe not. But they'll, you, they'll have to put him money. Yeah, of course, if he moves, because he's not. You're not going to sign no, him for not. a club. Yeah, I think the Dragons. No, not would sign him. No, okay. I wouldn't sign him for 950. What would you, but also, what would you give him? seven. And it, 750? Maybe 750. 750. That's fine. Yeah. But if I'm if I'm Jason Tamalolo, what's my incentive? Yeah, well, that's the issue. What's my incentive to that's leave right. North Queensland to go to the Dragons? Because yeah. no one's giving you any more years yeah. on your contract. No. Well, the incentive is that maybe they say at the Cowboys, we've got some kids coming through, we want to keep them. You mightn't be in the team every week. That would be the only way. And it, or he he feels like he needs to leave. But yes. if he feels like he needs to leave, you know, if I'm one club, and I've said this at the back end of last year, the one club that I'd be making the phone call from, the Melbourne Storm. To Jason Tomalolo? That's what I'd be doing. Okay. Yeah, it's a fair call. They're obviously cap dependent and stuff, but they're desperate yeah. for some starch to that they forward are, yeah. pack, and I think he's a guy that could do a, a great job for him, but oh, we're just yeah. talking... We're just spitballing. All, all we're spitballing. That's, that's, right, right, that's good spitballing, though. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's, that's a good sign. What did you make of their decision to relieve Tomalolo <laughs> and Chad Townsend of the captaincy? Uh, yeah, it was... Well, I, I, I like it. They need to freshen up, mm. and it's also a sign of um, where they're going with those two guys. I think, yeah, mm. I think it's pretty, pretty clear now what the plan is. Yeah, um, and, 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 and it's a good track. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And Tommy's just been made long-term yeah. player on a mega mm. deal. Yeah. Ruben Cotter's got, I think, one year left on that deal he signed mm. years ago. He's, he's paid way, way under as Ruben mm. Cotter. Mm. I think he's on a, just over four hundred thousand dollars. Ruben Cotter. Um, but I, I think they're keen to renegotiate that deal and extend him out so and pay him more likely what he's worth. So yeah. that's a sign that they want to keep Ruben there for long term and, and they'll look to upgrade him at some point. But, you know, they're, they're their two, two of their best players. I don't think you can say that about Chad and Jason anymore. I think Jason... No. You know, Chad's coming to the end of his career and Jason's just not the player he once was. And those two blokes, are, they're dead set stars. Yeah. Yeah. New era. New era? No, I like it. You think it'll turn them around, Ross? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't make your eight? Uh, I haven't done my eight yet, but uh, maybe, oh. maybe scrape, maybe scrape. You guys scrape. make us do our eight in November. I've got, I got a bake about our oh, eight this morning. From who? A, a club oh. official. Oh, really? He baked me. <laughs> he said, you left us out of the eight. I said, I have to leave someone out. <laughs> That's disappointing. Yeah, really disappointing. We've got to look at who, you, who, who, was, who was not in your eight. I'll give you one guess. It's a team that is in the eight. Most people think they'll be in the eight, and I left them out of the eight. Ooh. Okay. It's a tricky one. Think. 
Oh, you don't know what my eight was. Do you want me to tell you my eight? So yeah. what would you say? They, they made the eight last year and you yep. don't have them in the eight this year. Yep. But most people think they'll be in the eight. Yes. It could be anyone. Yeah. It could be eight teams. Well, it's not. Could be. No, because I had eight teams in the eight. <laughs> <laughs> the obvious ones I left out are Cronulla. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's Cronulla. I can't think That's of the other Cronulla. obvious ones I left out. Cronulla, <laughs> yeah. Dino wasn't happy. Sorry, Dino. Had to leave something out, buddy. Yeah, they were an inch. I found this is all right. We're talking North Queensland yep. and Cronulla. There, I had North Queensland in my eight, Cronulla out of my eight. I had, then I flipped them. They're the two that is I. Is that where mm, you finished? Cronulla in I North had Queensland Cronulla out. In, but I had. I don't have the Warriors in my eight. I had all three of them out as well. The Warriors. Yeah. I don't have Canberra in my eight. I think Canberra. I didn't have Canberra yeah, either. I think Canberra is yeah. a massive faller for mine. I yeah, brought the Dolphins yeah, in. And you didn't have. You didn't have the Dolphins. No, in. I brought Manly and South in. Yeah, Manly South Dolphins. I brought in. So I had two out, two in, two out. Three out, three in, three out for me. So Manly and South in for me. Yeah. And you had the Dolphins as well. Yes. And who did you have out? I had out uh, Raiders, Raiders, Sharks, Sharks, Warriors. Warriors, yeah. Warriors is hard to. How do you leave the Warriors out? I don't know. Well, you did it too. I know, but I'm just, oh, it's I know. more of a rhetorical question. Mm, like, yeah. How do you leave the yeah. Warriors out? With great add difficulty. In, add in Roger Tullivar to Sheck and Capewell. Yeah. Yeah, it was the, a tough The one. concern is Johnson, though, isn't it? Like, it's not of a, course. Yeah. That's, that's the thing. I can, I can understand leaving them out, even though I haven't officially done my well, when, uh, top eight. When will you do your top eight next time you're on the uh, pod? Well, I can, I can May, announce it. In May. Yeah, I'll come <laughs> back for a pod in a couple of months. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> It'll come back for a pod in August. And yeah, that's right. Let us know his aims. Here's the one yeah. I prepared earlier. Well, let's stay on your Queensland team. Are the Maroons in drama? Three, no. Turmoil already? This Peter Bedell broke this story last night. Cam Smith no. leaving the Queensland coach in setup. Can you talk us through that? Um... Well, he's gone off to do work in grassroots. I think it's Currumbin. There's a Currumbin footy club up there. He lives mm-hmm. in Goldie. Yep. He's going to go and work there. Um, you know, I, 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 look, it surprised me. I'm surprised mm. by it. Yep. But I don't think it's a, it's not the death knell for Queensland Rugby League. I mean, we've still got Billy. We've still got JT. We've still got Nate Miles. Who's calling it the death knell? The death knell. Well, they're they're scared. Can you say it's a crisis? I was taking the... Oh, he's taking the... Okay. Um, and Matty Bellin comes in, who's been pretty good. I don't get. It was a surprise, though. But is well, there more? There's got to be more to it. It came from left field. Right. It was a bit of a surprise, considering the success they had, the relationship they yeah. had, and stuff like that. But the Kem's the sort of bloke who just runs his own race, a bit, yeah. right? So I, I was when I heard it, I wasn't overly surprised. And how much coaching mm-hmm. was he really? How, yeah, how much taxing was that? Is that job for him? Like how much? Well, I don't think. Work I think he, he was do? more a mentor guy. You know, yeah, a guy floating around to. But that's what I mean. That's what I thought it was confidence. Bit... Yeah, okay. You know, okay. I don't think it was... I mean, no fallout. Billy, Billy's no. more the hands-on coach okay. there, right? And Josh Hannay's the other guy there. Josh Hannay mm, does, yeah, a, lot Josh does so a lot of coaching. So yeah. they've got a lot of coaches. All right. A lot of coaches. A bit like in here. A lot of yeah. coaches? <laughs> Too many Chiefs, not enough Indians? I think they're scared of Madge. I think the Madge <laughs> revolution. Oh, the, the Madge revolution. Oh, here, we here we go. Look here we go. Nice segue, Russ. Madge. Um, origin yep. camp this weekend. Okay. Anyone that listens knows I've got a strict... No origin <laughs> policy until yeah. like April. Yeah, fair okay. enough. Because it, it bores me to tears if we're yeah. talking team selection and stuff. But news this week, obviously, because Madge is having his first camp as mm. New South Wales coach, extended yep. an invite to Jack Wyden. Yeah. Um, Jack Wyden said thanks, but no thanks for now. Yep. Um, yep. Do you expect to see Jack Wyden potentially back in a Blues jersey at some point this year? Uh, yes. Yes, I do. I do. I think um, uh, probably the Latrell factor, Cody Walker potentially. Uh, yes, I do. I think he'll. I think he'll be part of the setup. Well, Latrell, put, Latrell, and, put his hand up. Latrell and him yeah. are basically vying for the same spot. Yeah. Mm. Left, left centre, right. Yeah. So he will only be there with with injury. I think. I think. You know, well, Tommy. Thing, yeah. Tommy, you've got the centres of Tommy and Latrell. You see Latrell, bench spots. Right, no, Steve, Steve, Steve Crichton's ahead of. Bradman Best. Bradman Best. Can't ignore now. Bradman Stags. Best. Yes. I always knew it would be an origin star. <laughs> <laughs> Stags. Stags. Uh, yeah. They've got a host of centres. Yeah. So I think Jack's got to rely on injury. But Jack could, Jack could utility, fill that bench right? role, right? Oh, absolutely. Like, that's, that'd, be the, that'd be the spot. Who, I can't remember. Who Nico played? Hines. Nico Hines. Bit, yeah. you know? Who played the bench role the last that'd game last year? That'd be the spot. Bench. Do you remember? Was it Damien Cook? Yeah, it might have been Cookie, yeah. Mm. yeah. He ended up in the centres at some stage yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, it's obviously, I think it's injury contingent, but geez, mm. a good player, Jack White. Mm. Like, Jack's never let New South Wales down. No, put him He's on the bench. He's sort of like he'd always been a Queensland team. Oh, but, we're, we're, but then you, we're forget, then you forget they're Queenslanders. Yeah, um, okay, well, just well, on um, <laughs> Jack White, like, so it's my understanding that, you know, South wouldn't stand in his way. He's yep. had that conversation with South, and he's told New South Wales that 
Look, he doesn't want to attend this camp while he's not sure if he will be considered mm-hmm. or if he'd consider himself available for rep footy. As yet, he wants to focus on South Sydney and, and getting um, some matches under his belt. But I think you'll find if he was asked mm. by Mike Maguire, I think he'd play. But yeah. that's the end of Origin. Well, it's, another, it's handy for Madge, right? I mean, that's a victory for Madge. What, yeah, it's great. I, I wonder what, what the what it says about the previous regime mm. that Jack's decided to change his mind to make himself available mm. and his relationship and his, um, yeah, you know what he thought of the previous regime. Mm. I think I don't think it reflects well on that relationship. Some availability or potential players not being available for Vegas. Uh, we'll touch on your Roosters first. One player that won't be there. Robbed. Robbed. JWH. Just include the All Stars game, please. Why? I don't know. They did it for Jack White. And <laughs> Except Jack Jared doesn't. Jared doesn't <laughs> play in the All Stars game very often, <laughs> but um, that's that's not the point. So he's going to be. Explained. It's either a rule or it's not a rule. I don't understand. Like, so what they it's is there? Is there a rule? It's discretion. It's right? discretion. Yeah. So poor. So, so it can't be done well once yeah. again. Will South get phone. another favour done for them? Oh, oh wow. wow. And White comes back for the Roosters, Roosters South game. Yeah, round yeah, three. Yeah, round yeah. three. Oh, wow. Look at that. How did oh, that work out? Set that one hey? up beautifully. <laughs> Any on my opinion of it? If you want. Uh, well, I think it's a shame he's not there. I mean, he's a, you know, the sort of guy who I think American, the American public would love. Yeah, big Jared. Love I mean, big Jared. Big, yeah. intimidating uh, presence sort of guy. You know, but I think that the Americans would take to. Yeah. He's a amiable guy too, Jerry. Mm. He's a bit of a larger yeah. life character. He'd be good to sell the game over there as well. Yeah. But rules are rules, Russ. Yeah, well, he did some stupid things that night against the Tigers, didn't he? Mm. So, um, But I think I don't think it changes a lot as far as the starting team goes for the Roosters. I think Spencer's always going to be a starter as far as, I don't know what you guys have heard, but I think that's always been the plan. So You're our man. That's, um, yeah. I... I, I how do you think you, know, you talk about Americans liking Jared. I mean, wait till they see. How do you think he'll handle that Spencer? starting role, Spencer? Don't know. Don't know. Mm. He's gonna he's gonna have to learn to pace himself, which is gonna be interesting. Mick, you spent <laughs> a bit of time with him in Vegas. <laughs> yeah, he a good fella. He's a funny. Dude. He's a good guy. Yeah. Spencer, is like you, you're like oh. So we went to Vegas. Obviously, there was Aaron Woods, Billy Walters, Campbell Graham, and Spencer. Aaron and Woods, what a that would have been painful. <laughs> <laughs> That you guy, like, honestly, yeah. uh, he's a punish. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, what about, he's the worst can, bloke. Can you pull up your phone and get um, Woodsy calling people out on, Twitter, on Instagram? <laughs> they're quite, there's Larry, these, they're quite funny. I've, I've, Were they text messages? I can't uh, remember. I said it on WhatsApp. Oh, anyway, WhatsApp. cool, um, cool segue. <laughs> but you know, Spencer was um, one of those guys I hadn't yeah. had a lot to deal with, and yep. then you get over there, and he's so softly spoken. Mm-hmm. He's so polite. He's yep. quite funny, and he's yep. a really reserved guy. So it was good to spend some some time with him and he's not he gets white line fever mm. right there's no doubt and mm. we saw it yep. in that game against the roosters <laughs> and you know i asked him about his first yeah. conversation with jared yep. when when he they hadn't spoken since yeah. running into each other on, on the mm-hmm. field and um you know they're on the physio table and brandon smith walked in to try and break the ice like you guys all good <laughs> and, and that was it but this is uh woods is going back and forth with some people on instagram Someone wrote back, worst Tigers captain ever. Bit harsh. And, and oh, who's the worst? I can't think of who's the worst, but that's a bit harsh. And Woodsy replies, he's a pretty good Tiger. Surely it didn't do too bad because they had to replace me with five. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. <laughs> oh, well, he's anyway, he's still a bludger of a bloke. <laughs> <laughs> Is this your feud? Is this Sean you? Kemp? Sean Kempy. I don't have a feud Bradman, with Sean Kempy. I love like Sean Kempy. Aaron Woods. <laughs> Jakey. Jakey oh, Drawbridge. No, you wow. Can't yeah, Jake. They're going to go on the Manly tomorrow, I think, to watch that scrimmage oh, yeah. against the oh, Dragons. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And uh, they sit in the stand and jeer Aaron Woods. <laughs> Josh Schuster. Oh, yeah. Talk God. us through. You, you've seen him out and about. Well, I see. You know what? I saw him at Ringer Mall about mm. two weeks ago. He came in for lunch and I walked past him and he's fingering a brace. And I thought, oh, I, thought, I might have keep that in the back of my yeah. head for when yep. I come back. Yep. Sadly, it came out before I got back. But um, <laughs> it looked, I think it'd be fine by the sounds of it. I mean, he's just had yeah. that, that um, finger injury. Do you think, do you think he'll play Vegas? Well, I spoke to Tony Mestrod this morning. He said it's not an issue. He'll be, he'll be good as gold. So, okay. I don't know. Yeah. Tony is the CEO. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to think he knows what's going on at the joint. But well, he said, well, no, well, it's Pam, not a problem. Pam Whaley spoke to a couple of Manly officials yesterday, and she they were the st- same thing. They're hoping to have him back, I think, for the second trial. Is that yeah. the... Who have they got? What the trials they got? They're playing the Roosters. They're, 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 they're going to try the next trial? week. Uh, they've got they the scrimmage South this week, the then they've got a game next week. Yeah, South yeah. Roosters, yeah. I think, yeah, the okay. trials. So there's a second trial. I think they're, they're 
pretty yeah. confident he'll be right for that. So. That sounds right. Yeah. Sounds close. So. Enough, Mick. Hopefully no one's fact checked in this episode. We're yeah. all a bit rusty. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, they, they seem confident he'll be okay. D- does he necessarily make the team, the starting team? Mm. Yeah. Schuster. Yeah. If he's apparently Benish Rovovich has trained the house down. Whoa. Okay. In the preseason. All right. This is a thank you for that because we're going to our listener questions and the first question is what do you got? Is it really appropriate to have all these <laughs> houses being trained down over the preseason given the current price of real estate? Ooh. Well, apparently, Benny Trojic has trained the house down, so yeah. it's appropriate. Yeah. Um, yeah, we, we should we should do the old. Who, who's, I think the, the Herald already. The Herald did, did it, right? Yeah, who's no, training the house down to your club? Yeah, yeah. That was one of the questions. Yeah, that's coach. right. Yeah. Who's training the house down? Who's training the house down? In the, or who's training the house down the off-season here, Russ? Has it been a impressive uh, performer? Oh, I haven't been back long enough to uh, to see, but... Um, I think Mick was hoping you'd say him, mate. He followed well, a couple of yarns. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah there's been, well, yeah, yeah, it's been a few, good. few files. I just went away, well, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Uh, Dean Ritchie's, Dean Ritchie's um, been training the house down. Mm. Um, give him a mention. Um, that's it. Well, that's it. Oh, good, oh, good wow. chat. It's yeah. a fair wrap All for right. the staff. Um, Good boss, Russ. <laughs> C. Mallison wants to know what your bloke's best Christmas present was. Oh, Russ, oh, what? Best, it's on the list, boys. I'm sorry, but best Christmas present. Yeah, they, maybe mm. one, either, either one that you received oh, or that you God. gave. Oh God, I didn't give much to be honest. Um, kids get enough, you know. Oh. Older son's got to pay for phones. We got a bit of cash. Um, you know what I always say at Christmas. It's about the me presents rather than the we presents. Mm. So my wife likes to give we presents, which okay. are presents that for me, right. but for the, the presents the whole family can enjoy. Uh, you okay. So you know, once she bought me, a, this is a really, I'll tell you a really bad story. It's like at home, I'll tell you a really bad story. Bowling this is a bad ball. story. It's about it reflect poorly on me. I'm gonna tell it. Uh, are you sure? So one Christmas, she bought me a video camera. Okay. Great present. I've gone, I blew up. I said, this is a we present, not a me present. <laughs> she broke down in tears. Wow. It was a long time ago. Uh, you know, the old, you, did you, you know the old video camera? Did cameras? you use it much? <laughs> Barely ever used it. <laughs> oh, I was like it out wives. You know, I like you to be watched. Oh, hold on, what's this? <laughs> so... I, well, I, I got a gift voucher for a float tank. I know you. Float. You were doing some floating. Oh, float. Yeah, 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 you did some floating. In, in the middle of an NFL game. Yeah. Oh, what? Yeah. Was Can worried I about his fantasy. Tell your story and then I'll tell my float story really quickly. Were well, you watching the stream? No. 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 Okay. Well, it's intriguing. I'll tell a flight. Okay. Because you had two people in your capsule, Correct. didn't you? Let's get to that. We'll I, get was to that. Yeah, I was solo. I was solo. I was solo. Right, keep <laughs> going. Just keep going. Go, go, go. go. Okay, oh, so we got a joint John. flight. <laughs> yes. As and a week present. And I said, so can you present? explain, it's a, no, it's explain what it is? Explain what it is. So a flight's where you, you enter a darkened room yeah. and you... You lie in like a tank, and it's it's full of salt. I salt, think, salt yes. And you yep. float. It's supposed yep. to put you in a relaxed state. Yep. It helps with sleep, helps with um, recovery, all that sort of stuff. Yep. So we got one. My sister in law bought it for us. A joint float. We're two of you in there together. <laughs> and I said to my wife, we went in there. Said, so what do we do? What mm. do we wear? She said, go nude. So we're in a float together. Yes. Nude, right? Mm-hmm. And normally, like, you know, guys know me. I'm very fidgety. I can't sit still. <laughs> right. Where are we going? So here? the first half hour, I was out like a light. My wife couldn't yeah. relax. She kept yeah. bumping into me and nudging me. <laughs> <laughs> Not for that purpose. So, and then, and after the half, first half hour where she just kept annoying me, yeah. all I could think of for the last 15 minutes, 20 minutes was, NFL fantasy. there's a naked woman beside oh. me in this float and I couldn't relax. Oh, Jesus. So it wasn't the most relaxing float ever. The um, naked woman being your wife? Yeah, my wife, yes. You know, that's my float story. Well, I'd recommend doing it doing it solo next time. I will do. You know yeah, what? Yeah. I said to her afterwards. Yeah. I said, "I'm not doing this ever with you yeah. again." Oh, come I'm on, going yeah. solo. It takes a while to switch off, but once you switch off, it's very. It's good, good. isn't it? Yeah, it's very relaxing. And you sleep like a, a Did you baby. Sleep better for that, night? T- that night was yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Two nights are the best sleep. Anyway, I've finish ever had. your story about you. Anyway, what she did? Highly recommend. This wasn't this Christmas, but it was a present. She she bought. I think it was for my birthday, and she's like, "Oh, we went out for a nice dinner," and they go, "We're going to go see a show." She goes, "But you can't." It's a sick. I didn't know where we we're gonna go. I didn't know who we we're seeing. She goes, "Oh, don't look at the posters because you know we're, when we're lining up." She goes, "Don't look at the posters. Don't look at the tickets. I want it to be a surprise." So we're getting closer. It's, it's, it's How do you hard. Avoid that? It's hard when you're in a line in the arena. Yeah. And I'm looking at the poster, and I said, "I actually don't even know who that is." Right? She goes, "Oh, it was that Nick Offerman from um, Parks and Rec, <laughs> a, a bloke I've never heard of, a show I've never watched, and all the jokes were about the show." What's Parks and Rec? It's some TV show. 
Oh, it's comedy. It's, it's comedy. He was show. a comedian. Yeah, talking, but all the references were about the show. Was it funny? Did you laugh? I didn't know what he was talking about. Classic we present rather yeah. than me yeah, present. Yeah, yeah, Classic we present. That is a we present. Yeah, yes. yeah, no, that does happen a little bit. Yeah, good, yeah. Um, good story. What about you, good Russ? Good question. Uh, we've, we've all got into trouble now. You've got a oh, pr- present one. No, no, my, the float tank was was sensational. Oh, so you're yeah. happy. Yeah, yeah no, I was, I was very happy with well, that. That's because he did alone. He did yeah. it on his own oh, rather than with his. Yeah. Oh, listen, oh God, that wouldn't have gone well. This is a, a, a question for you, Reedy, <laughs> and maybe for the person calling you. Have the NRL club agreements been renewed? I checked on this this morning. Of course, you would did. you believe this is? I can't believe that someone's asked this question. And you're here to answer well, it. Well, they've rolled over the one year. Yeah, they've rolled over one year. Yeah. And they're still talking. So oh, beyond man. the one year, they haven't been renewed. Okay. Slow going. And it, look, I promise you, if anyone's going to have this news, it's going to be Brent Reed, because no one else cares. And I'll have it first on this podcast. Yeah. First for you. Exclusive. Uh, are, are, we, the are we the same? Are we first the same? for you, brother. Good question. Harry, Good to see someone cares about a really important thing well, in rugby do, league. There's no doubt that you do care about license agreements more than anyone I've ever encountered. You know, in my it's life. a hugely crucial part of the game. Huge. Um, the punters are, <laughs> and, <laughs> are strapped. I'll in. tell you what. We should have a pod on that. And maybe. Yeah, and, Gav, we check, and check the numbers. Gav. You know what they we care? Can check, you know we what can they have care? A license yeah. agreement I tell you what. Special. They care if their club didn't get one. They were kicked out the comp. Then they mm. care. Okay. When it gets to that point, or it looks like getting to that point, I'm going to jump I'm in. I'm the campaign to have a I'm club kicked out <laughs> so that people yes. care about it. When, yes. when it gets close to that... Pick a, we'll pick a club off here. Oh, yep. No, on air. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. I was joking. Um, <laughs> uh, Harry wants to know, another top four finish for the Warriors <laughs> this year. The team on paper looks even better. Well, you've written the poor Warriors well, off. So have you. You already right. savaged them. And oh, it's, Sean John- it's all Sean Johnson. If, if Johnson can uh, mm. keep himself in, you know, he's, no, he's never going to be a hundred percent. But if he can, yeah, if he can get through the season, uh, I don't think I don't think top four. But yeah, I think they can definitely make the eight if, if he stays should, fit. But yeah. I, I, you know, I've got huge concerns over them. And just finally, Super Bowl. Oh, week. Super. Uh, next week, obviously, because they've got two weeks to prepare for it. Are you into your NFL? Yeah, I'm a Dallas Cowboys fan, so I'm used to not us. watching. Yeah, I'm not used to not watching, um, not watching Dallas in the uh, in the Super Bowl. So, um, but yeah. But so watching obviously Swifty. Taylor Swift is yeah. The, yeah, huge. the big attraction. The other one's mm. Usher at halftime. That's that's cool. Yeah. You like Usher? Yeah, it's cool. yeah, it's gonna be yeah, good. yeah. No, yeah. see, that's his worst song though. Oh, sorry. And that's What's the one his best song? Any of his best I song? I burn. How's that go? Nah, I'm not singing it. But I love Usher. Is it a big win? I think it's pretty cool, yeah. Like that was from yeah. Charles Goodsir, by the way, just yeah. asking um, your okay. favourite Usher song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, it's the Usher, most... Usher, Usher, Usher. Usher, Usher. All right. That's what he does, doesn't it? And dinner. Oh, ladies Jason and gentlemen. Jason Derulo. Jason um, Derulo. Oh, dinner. Jason <laughs> Derulo. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Russ. Uh, dinner tonight will be salmon. Oh, we had salmon last night. Salmon. I was going to say salmon. Yeah. You were going my to say. My wife does this little miso I'm going to my meal, uh, miso marinade. Okay. Type of thing. It's very. What good do you have it with? Uh, she does it like a um, poke bowl type okay. setup. Okay. Oh, yeah. Free, it's very yeah. nice. Yeah. That sounds very nice. Very easy suburbs. Too. Yeah. She she takes it's care of all that stuff. So well, you I'm can a, talk. I'm sort of I'm the barbecuer. Oh, yeah. That's I'm straight up and down barbecue. I'm guy. the cleaner. Pretty high cost and everything. Clara else. cooks at home and I do all the dishes and. Yeah, the washing. You put them in the dishwasher. Oh, no, ways. but the pans and stuff, I wash them. Are you good at stacking a dishwasher? Because yeah, I, yeah, I cop, yeah. yeah. I cop it. No, no, I'm, I'm the. Hopeless. Well, you can't not I'm cook hopeless. and then be bad at dishwasher stacking. How many times? How many times you pull out the tray and a wine glass just snaps or something? Mm. It happens but, too much for me. <laughs> how, what do you? How rough are you pulling uh, it? Uh, it's just. I've got two dishwasher questions for you. One, do you yeah. rinse your plates off before you put them in there? Mostly, yes. Defeats the purpose of the dishwasher. Not really. If it's yeah, salmon or something and it's going to stink in your dishwasher, completely for defeats a the purpose no. of the dishwasher. Yeah, 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 yeah. Second thing. So you don't rinse. I, I if do. I'm not, if I'm turning it, it on straight away, it if I'm turning it on straight away, I won't. Yeah. But if it's going to sit there for a day or a bit, you have to rinse. Who leaves a dish in the dishwasher for a day? Well, I don't Just have, put it on every night. I don't have four people in my house. Well, it's less to take out if you put it on every night. Even when we don't eat at home, we only have like five items in there. I still put it on. Oh, mate. That there's always a fast setting too, isn't there? Yeah, exactly. There's a, quick, there's a half hour. My second question, yeah. your cutlery. Do you put your cutlery together? I put it Spoons. together. I put it together. Yeah. My wife does not put it together. Do you have knives up? Are knives up or knives down? Knives down. Yeah. It used to be a not put together, but someone said to me, put them together, then it's you easy can just to take empty. It, it's exa- yes. And they were right. Thank you. Tip for the punters. Clara. Clara, get it. Come on. What's for, get it together. <laughs> What's for dinner? I might have lamb backstrap tonight. You what? Yeah. A little bit of lemon. <laughs> 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 on the barbie. 
<laughs> very lean meat, Liam Baxter. I'm very healthy yeah, very with a bit nice. of salad. Yeah. And I might get maybe a bit of couscous. I haven't done couscous in a while. I actually yeah. like the sound of that. We might do. We might. Don't rip I'm not sure. Off, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Anyway, lamb back show, a bit of lemon. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I might stick some herbs in there. Too. All right. That's all right. Herb. Good. Okay. All right. Um, well, that's it. The first of many as we hit the road to 2024 as we approach the NRL season. Mm. Thank you, Ross. Thank, Thank you, Reedy. Catch you guys soon.